guys, Moose Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a button selector panel. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so we're here in our world and I'm going to be showing you how to build a button selector panel Then I'm gonna explain how it works and show you the use case it for So for this build you need uh, some blocks of your choice for one module because this is stackable you can make as many of the buttons on your selector panel as you want so you need two sticky pistons, two redstone repeaters, one observer, three droppers, one hopper, and one comparator. Those are all of the stuff you need for this build. Okay, so I've got the blocks here, uh, and I want to build a button selector panel with fire buttons. So I'm going to start things off by making a 6 by one uh, line of blocks. Then I'm going to go 3 up on both sides, like so. I'm going to fill in the top with blocks and the lower empty parts of it. And here in the space that is free, we can place the redstone lamp. Um, now, of course, I forgot the buttons. You need uh, buttons in front of, uh, in on the bottom of this panel here. Let's start with building one module. So to start things off, we need to get a uh, falling edge monostable circuit he going here. So you just dig in a hole here, place a repeater here, place a block here. Another repeat here. I know you normally place redstone here, but for this to be a modular system, so you can place multiple of these next to each other, we need a repeater here, and it will be useful in a second. Um, we place an observer here, and you might be thinking it would give us two pulses, so it wouldn't work, right? Well, you would be right, but because this will be a one tick pulse coming out of this repeater, this observer will only um, pulse once into the piston, not twice. So that's also a key thing. Now we place a dropper facing upwards, a dropper facing to the back a dropper facing back into the hop dropper that is facing upwards and a piston on top of hopper i'm sorry on top of here and on the back we have an observer so yeah that's basically the whole module if you will see here oh i'm sorry uh, you also need to place a block here so i'm just gonna place a button um I press the button, it turns on the redstone lamp and it turns on the comparator here. I'm gonna explain the, why we need to have the comparator here uh, later. So uh, I guess now it's time uh, for the rest uh, of the modules and thanks to Movie Magic they will be done in 3, 2, one okay so all the modules are done now you know how to build this thing as you can see every one of these is working so now we get an item frame right here to make it nicer and what i like to do here is showing uh what each button is for so let's say you have an iron farm and you want to activate it with this button so you place iron uh, raw iron here 
you have a, a melon farm. You take melon and place it here if you want to activate it with this button. Yeah, and about the mechanism, I still don't explain you what every part does. So if you press the button here, as you can see, this uh, I told you is a falling at monastical circuit. So it takes a one tick pulse here. This one tick pulse is recognized by this observer, which fires into this piston, which fires the one tick pulse to this piston and it spits out the block here. So you might say that this part here is for uh, the lamps, this part is like the base for both of the cir circuits here and here and yeah this circuit is for uh, actually connecting your device to the button selector panel so let's say if you want this button to activate a door okay so i made a quick uh, door here i know it's only a one by two but this is just a proof of concept that you can hook up, hook up a door to here so i hooked it up to the iron uh, button i press it uh, you know, I might place a repeater here. Uh, it strengthens up the signal, it goes here, turns it off, and you can go through the door just like so. And if you press the button again, it closes up because the lamp is turned off and the comparator isn't switched on. And you can do this also for. Uh, as I showed you here, farms, you can hidden entrances, you can use it for your hidden chest in the floor or something. Yeah, the, just you can basically hook up every redstone machine that can be toggled on and off right to the back of here and it should just work. So guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!